Namaste, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, it's always nice to start a video with motherfucker. It's intimate. But um, I wanted to share today and uh, just about jealousy, I think. I've had it come up a lot recently. And today was no exception. Um, a good friend of mine um, received some really good news uh, related to their career. And I was not supportive. Um, I didn't feel happy for them. And luckily it was really more of an exchange of, you know, uh, text and phone calls and things like that. So I didn't actually speak to them about this. And they probably weren't able to tell where I, where I was at emotionally. You know, my texts, of course, were like so supportive, you know, but it's a false support, you know. I'm saying things I really don't feel, but I know that they'll be received well, or at least that's the impression I'm supposed to give. So I respond in kind. I kind of falsify my feelings and um, become inauthentic in that moment, right? We all, and we think this is so normal. We live a life that says, oh, you look nice, when you don't look nice, right? Or, oh, we just, <coughs> somebody's sick. We, uh, we constantly, you know, have these little comments that we make. I was gonna say platitudes. I'm like, what if people will think that I'm being all fancy with my words? Well, I am. <laughs> I'm not sure it's the right word, by the way. I don't think it is. Nonetheless, we have them, and uh, it's the idea of um, self-approval, <laughs> seeking approval. We say things we don't mean. I say things I don't mean because I want the other person to stay centered in a certain perspective of me, and I want to stay in a positive light to them. I want them to see me in a positive way, and so um, it's important. My image that I have, uh, as far as they're concerned, it's important how that image is and how it appears to them and therefore I falsify uh, the image. I create the image falsely so that they get an impression it's not accurate of who and what I am. Now if they were able to read auras or maybe psychic but that's not even a good one. Just read auras. And there's a, there's got to be people that can do this and um, I can't but I think I think people can and the idea being that you're just They'd be able to see within me the energy fields, the emotions I'm feeling, and then there'd be no need for words because words are bullshit half the time, right? I love you, honey. You know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Oh, thanks. Sometimes you mean it. Sometimes I say that to people. I just it's an automatic. Um, you're welcome. Like we're just there's a there's a strong element of in, inauthenticity that is trained and indoctrinated in our culture and. What we need to do, America, what we need to do, and I say America, oddly enough, it's a global planet right now, you know, YouTube's global, but I say America because it's my hometown and um, because we seem to be a certain aspect of leadership on the planet. And so I think it's important, quite frankly, to start where you are. And so I'm in America and I'm an American and I want to begin changing the way I see things so that I'm more empowered and I want my country, I want my fellow country men, and I want the country we represent to be better. And for that to occur, we need more awareness, more uh, consciousness, you know. Uh, but awareness, let's start with that key word, awareness. The willingness to look at it, you know. Uh, the willingness to look for it. Awareness. Not that constant state of delusion and... Um, almost intoxication that we experience from the shopping and from the computer and online searching, which is another form of shopping, uh, and the possessions, the ownerships, the need for the next best thing, that constant, uh, I need the iPhone 9, iPhone 10, iPhone 15, it's never going to stop ever. Like, you know, <laughs> your kids are going to grow like, remember the iPhone 9? <laughs> What a piece of shit that was. They're going to talk about the iPhone 9 like we talk about Atari, okay? <laughs> Great. Uh, it, you know, it'll come a long way, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm speaking about is the, uh, the inauthenticity, the, the things we say to each other that we don't mean because we're too afraid, to be honest, and we're too afraid of what that might mean to the relationship. And so we live in fear. And that fear we live in is just the microcosm of our friendships and our family and our coworkers. Just that fucking microcosm alone causes so much fear in every relationship or, you know, every dynamic almost. It, it bleeds over. The, the inauthenticity is not saved for one aspect of our lives. It's a state of being that, uh, again, the idea of um, 
gripping and creating this identity and then making sure the identity sticks. Are you seeing me as this kind of person? Hey, are you seeing me as this kind of, hey, I need to be seen this way. This is who I am. It's a 360. This is who I am. This is who I choose to be. I'm expressing myself consciously this way. I made these decisions and I want you to see me that way and I will do things to keep the puppet show alive. You know, hey, nice, good job, congratulations. <laughs> you, know, you look really nice today. <laughs> you know, that was a great idea, boss. <laughs> it's fucking true and, you know, it's not sad. This is, this is the journey, man, right? So for me, um, you know, I want to, uh, I want to remember that this is the journey, this is the evolution, this is the growth. And so when I received the news from my friend and I recognized a lack of support, yet presenting otherwise, and I'll continue to pre present otherwise, I'm like, man, when I talk to that person, I'm going to have to make sure, I'm like, oh, hey, good job, you know. And maybe I'll feel it at that time, uh, and that's okay. You know, it's, I'm not like I'm always inauthentic. Um, what I'm saying is that it's... Um, the, the image becomes so important. Sometimes the image is real, you know, like I do have this kind of a nose, you know, and then sometimes it's not real, you know, like these are fake contacts. So uh, I'm excited about the discovery, and that's what I think wanted to make the, that's what wanted to make the video. No, I wanted to make the video, but it came from that kind of discovery of like, how can I see this differently, and what is it that I'm seeing? And there it is, you know, it's the, uh, the false image, you know, the, um, it's the puppet show, man. I'm putting it on for you guys, you know. Even now, in some levels, perhaps. It, it doesn't matter. I don't know how you get through life without the puppet show, but I want to make sure I'm conscious of it. Oh, yeah, puppet show here. Yeah. Because if I'm not, it emotionally causes suffering, pain, you know. Uh, I become very reactive. And even if it's a positive energy, even that is gone, and then you feel that kind of like, you know, what happened is the, the buzz is gone, right? So good news is just three drinks of alcohol. You're buzzing. And then the fucking fades and you're back to normal. And so for me, I just want to make sure I'm really clear about seeing how this is working. What's my image like? And, and, um, and I'm having all kinds of opportunities to see my image and, um, you know, how I'm presenting it. It's, you know, there's all kinds of things going on for me that allow me to spend more time being conscious of this and more aware. And I'm excited about that because as disappointing as it can be to realize that you might have to give up the false image, you know, or the image. It's not who I am, right? So as I begin to see that, right, ah, it cracks apart a little bit. Like, you know what, you're really not this kind of person. You're just pretending to be or acting like it. And then you're like, but you are like this. So you begin to discern, you know, uh, what's authentic and what's not authentic. And through awareness, you drop the inauthentic and you just become, you know, a little more real, if you will, or something like that. And so I'm excited about the discoveries because they always give me an opportunity to get more real. And, um, you know, and by recognizing this false image that I'm trying to present, which always hurts, it's never fun to put up a false image. Um, it's an opportunity for deeper connection with people because I'm becoming more authentic. And so even if things aren't jiving, then we can just move away from that, you know? Um, I don't have to make it jive. You know, I don't have to force it and say, no, this relationship has to work and it has to be this way. Maybe the relationship doesn't work. I mean, my job is to follow my soul, follow my heart, follow my truth. That's my job. But how can I follow my truth if I'm not willing to acknowledge it? I was going to say express it, but that may be irrelevant. I don't need to express my truth. That's not, you know, that, that may or may not occur. It's not a requirement. But to acknowledge it, that's an internal thing. So... Yeah, I'm excited about that, you know, um, and there was some also some um, motivation, I think, that kind of came from, I was like, wow, you know, my unwillingness to really be supportive here is jealousy, and my jealousy stems from the fact that I don't feel like I'm fulfilling myself, I don't feel like I'm pursuing my goals, I don't feel like I'm creating the life I want to have, and... Um, Therefore, uh, I would probably resent others that do. And by the way, jealousy, just, it's a merry-go-round, man. <laughs> like, I'm going to be jealous about the blue horse. I'm going to be jealous about the elephant. I'm going to be jealous about the donkey. I'm going to be jealous about the... It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. It's not like just one person. You know, different moments throughout the day, you just, oh, you just move to the next person. And jealousy feeds on itself, you know. Even when it's subdued, I'm not like a super jealous guy, but I find that when I get jealous, um, 
I can rationalize it, you know, and act like, oh, I'm not jealous, it's just, you know, they're the situation and blah, you know, or even just rationalize things about them uh, that, you know, subtly uh, undermine who they are. Oh, yeah, they're doing well, but, you know, it's artificial success, it's ego-based. <laughs> so what? You know, what, what isn't ego-based on this planet? And why should it be otherwise? That's part of our journey. So uh, until, you know, we reach enlightenment, which is bound to happen at some point, the human race is going to be enlightened. M many individuals have become enlightened, and uh, I'm talking today, I'm not talking about just the Buddha and Jesus, if you want to even call him enlightened, but I don't, I don't think he was enlightened. Um, you know, uh, he was still kind of mean, <laughs> like knocking over, the, like didn't he go into the, somewhere and kick the gambling tables where the Jews had some, you know, their market set up and he's just stomping all over the place. Calm down, Jesus. But there's a lot of enlightened people in today's world, like Byron Katie, Eckhart Tolle, Sadhguru, um, you know, uh, those are three that are living, um, and m many more. I, I don't know the names of all of them, but it's expanding and that's our energy and that's our tree of life, blossoming with the fruit of enlightenment through individuals that teach us that we are our tree of enlightenment and then we become inspired, become connected, we receive the nectar of that fruit into our own hearts and then we blossom too. That is beautiful. And that's where we're headed. So I'm cool, but um, we have work to do, I have work to do, so that I can become a better person, a better fruit, more enlightened, you know, and share in our, our, um, our species development um, as humans. So that, that's where we move toward, you know. And I don't know how long, it doesn't matter, I have no answers, but it doesn't matter how long it takes, you know. Uh, it'll happen when it happens. You can't push, oh, come on, tree, <laughs> bear that fruit. <laughs> I need the corn today. <laughs> and corn and tree are different, I know, I did that intentionally. Um, Self-image necessary to present a certain intellect. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I'm excited about that, but more importantly, back to my own fruit blossoming and back to me growing, and that's, you know, that's what I need to do for me so I can feel good about my life, and that's what I'm doing, and I did want to share this video because I had some interesting thoughts come out and some ideas, and it's so healthy for me to express because that's how I learn to practice authenticity is kind of be aware about something, process it. Sometimes I journal. I find that the videos are very helpful because I'm spontaneously expressing and um, there's no one here watching and there's really no kind of self-consciousness and so uh, I think it works good for me to be um, just more, you know, straight, just more real, more real, motherfucker real. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you.